Now that we've covered ordinary chondrites and their classification, let's dive into another fascinating group of meteorites, the carbonaceous chondrites. Carbonaceous chondrites are known for their complexity and heterogeneity. They have dark gray to black fusion crusts and often show minimal signs of thermal metamorphism. And unlike ordinary chondrites, they generally lack metal. One misconception about carbonaceous chondrites is that they contain high levels of carbon. However, this is not always the case. In fact, some carbonaceous chondrites are actually carbon poor. So what sets them apart from other chondrites? It's their relatively higher abundance of magnesium, calcium, and aluminum in comparison to silicon. Carbonaceous chondrites have unique chemical compositions containing a range of organic compounds, amino acids, and even water. They are believed to have formed in the early solar system, and their study has provided important insights into the origins of life on Earth. Carbonaceous chondrites are divided into six main groups, CI, CM, CV, CO, CR, and CK, and two tentative groups, CH and CB, based on their chemical composition, petrology, and oxygen isotopic compositions. CM carbonaceous chondrites are a type of meteorite that were named after the town of Migai in Kherson Oblast, Ukraine where the first CM specimens fell back in 1889, although the most well-known example is the Murchison meteorite, which fell in Australia in 1969. These meteorites are classified as type 2 and are the earliest carbonaceous chondrites to display chondrules. The chondrules are tiny and dispersed throughout a black opaque matrix, which is rich in olivine grains. The matrix also contains hydrated phytosilicates that resemble clays found on Earth. These meteorites have experienced moderate aqueous alteration, meaning they have undergone chemical reactions with water. They contain roughly 3 to 11 percent of their weight in water. Furthermore, CM chondrites are recognized for the detection of organic compounds such as amino acids, the fundamental building blocks of proteins that are present in living things. The organic compounds in CM chondrites have a unique earthy scent that is frequently likened to the aroma of cooked Brussels sprouts, tar, wet hay, or the contents of a vacuum cleaner bag. CV chondrites are a type of meteorite named after the town of Vigorano, Italy, where the first recorded CV chondrite fell in 1910. These meteorites are distinguished by their high concentration of chondrules, which are small spherical structures formed from molten droplets that cooled and solidified in space. In fact, CV chondrites contain some of the largest chondrules found in any carbonaceous chondrite, with diameters averaging around 1 mm and occasionally reaching up to 25 mm. Chondrules can make up between 25% to 45% of the volume of CV chondrites. CO chondrites are named after the town of Ornans in France, where a meteorite specimen fell in 1868. Unlike CV chondrules, which have an average diameter of about one millimeter, CO chondrules are notably smaller, with an average diameter of around 0.22 millimeters. CK chondrites, a type of carbonaceous chondrite, are named after a meteorite that fell in Karunda, South Australia, in 1930. What sets them apart from other carbonaceous chondrites is their unique petrographic types beyond three, ranging from types four to six, with type five being the most prevalent at 75% equilibrated. These meteorites are highly oxidized and don't contain metallic grains in their matrix. Instead, they have highly oxidized iron minerals like magnetite. When cut and polished, they reveal a dull, blackened interior due to silicate darkening, which is caused by fine-grained magnetite and pentlandite permeating the olivine interior. CI chondrites are named after a specimen that fell near the town of Ivuna in Tanzania, in 1938. CI chondrites are relatively rare, with only seven known examples in the world, and only two of them, Ivuna and Orge, have deposited sufficient material for meaningful scientific research. Ivuna, which is a type specimen of CI chondrites, has been classified as petrographic type 1. It has a fine-grained and opaque matrix with a carbon content of 3 to 5 percent and a bulk water content ranging between 18 and 22 percent. 
A distinguishing characteristic of CI chondrites is that they lack chondrils. CB chondrites are a class of meteorites that derive their name from a meteorite that landed in the town of Ben Cubbon, Western Australia, in 1930. What sets these meteorites apart is their remarkable metal content, which constitutes over 50% of their composition. One of the distinguishing features of CB chondrites is the presence of sizable metal nodules, measuring about 1.5 to 8 millimeters in diameter, as well as significant chondrules that can be several centimeters in size. In CH chondrites, the H stands for high metal, referring to the significant amount of iron and nickel metal present in these meteorites, which can make up to 20% of the volume. The matrix of CH chondrites is composed of numerous small fragmented chondrules, approximately 0.02 millimeter in diameter, which make up 70% of the meteorite by volume. Similar to CR chondrites, CH chondrites also contain small amounts of phyllosilicates and other traces of aqueous alteration. The matrix is primarily composed of pyroxene, accounting for around 70% of the total composition. Some CH chondrites can contain up to 60 to 70% metal, making them one of the most metal-rich carbonaceous chondrites known. Some scientists have combined CH chondrites with the metal-rich Benkubin-like CB group, as Benkubin was initially classified as a CH chondrite, but is now classified as a CB3 chondrite.